I would like to go over the assignment. To begin, I would like to explain the concepts that we are using in context of how they are commonly used in the web page. What we are doing is we are essentially manipulating a class which uses the CSS display property. If I were to hover over a navigation bar, what we are doing, we are changing the CSS display property from none to block. This is commonly used in a drop-down menu situation. It is done using CSS and it is done using the hover. We also employ those same concepts using JavaScript to create what is commonly referred to as an accordion. So here we see a plus sign. Whenever you see a plus sign, it usually means that if you click it, something will be shown. So I click and notice I see some more information. Notice that plus sign now changes to a minus, thereby cueing the user in to that minus sign means to collapse. So we have this concept of expanding and collapsing content. And the CSS that we are using is the display property. However, it is always more efficient to use a class. So we will be manipulating the class that controls the display and the background image with jQuery. So this is what you will be starting with. Here we have an H1, we have several H2 elements, and another H2 element. Underneath the H2 elements, we have a div which contains more information. Rather than hide this information and add the plus icon using CSS, we will do that using jQuery. I just want to show you how you can use jQuery to set styles when the page loads. Therefore, in the event that the JavaScript doesn't load, you won't be sitting there with hidden content and plus signs that don't work. So this is what our application will look like. And you're welcome to make this look pretty. However, you may not add additional HTML, IDs, classes, or CSS for purposes of working the assignment, only for page layout. So when I click on the H2, I see what's underneath. The plus sign turns to a minus. When I click on the H2, I see what's underneath. The plus sign turns to a minus. When I click again, the information disappears. The plus sign turns to a plus. This is commonly referred to as a toggle, meaning you do something and then you reverse it. If you are interested in being a web developer, you really need to know how to use and take advantage of the browser development tools so that you understand what is happening with your code. If I were to right click and go to inspect. Now I am using brackets and I am in live preview, therefore I have a lot of data attributes. However, notice in my H2, there's a class of plus, and in my div underneath, there's a class called close. This is the rendered code and I can see what jQuery is doing. Now, when I click on the first question, you can see what is going on. So what is happening? When the page loads, we add the class called plus, we add the class called close to the three H2s and the three divs. Then when we click, we are toggling the minus class and toggling the open. What do I mean by toggle? I mean, well, if it's not there, we put it there. And if it is there, we take it off. So this is the toggle class method. It is a very, very nice method that allows us to add and remove a class with one line of code. I have tried to explain that behind the scenes, jQuery is the DOM. What this is behind the scenes is actually an if condition. If the class is not there, add it. If it is, take it away. So we are using the toggle class method. And because these classes are defined later in the CSS document, they will take precedence and they will be applied, which is why we see the minus and why we see the content. Please take advantage of the console to find your error messages. So there are four classes that we need to be concerned with. 
The class equals plus will be added to the H2s when the page loads using jQuery. The class called close will be added to the divs when the page loads using jQuery. These are the classes we will toggle. When we click on the H2, we toggle the minus class, and when we click on the H2, we also toggle the open class. However, we are toggling the open class for, it, for the div, which is the element underneath the H2. So you need to look at the HTML and study it, see the relationship between the elements. Notice we have one ID in this document, and based on that ID, you should be able to access the H2 elements that you need to access and the div underneath. Notice we have another H2 down here. We do not want to access that. So you should be able to choose the correct jQuery selector in order to do that.